Well, it's 3 o'clock, so we're not going to wait on them. <laughs> we have uh, four, which is our quorum. We'll go ahead and get started. And uh, as they come in, they can join us. Uh, we only have uh, one bill uh, today. And uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and, and get started right away. Good afternoon, first of all. Appreciate you guys for being here. And uh, Representative Benton, if you'd like to come and... Uh, Present your bill for us. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the bill that I'm presenting to you today is House Bill 91, and this deals with uh, the protection of uh, monuments and statues. Um, it is just an addition to the current code that is that is there. Uh, we are attempting to uh, we're attempting to, I guess you could say, kind of head off the uh, politically correct uh, groups that would want to see monuments uh, and statues of of earlier times uh, removed for uh, various reasons. Uh, and it also is, is there to try to make sure that monuments and statues that are moved by those government entities, if they are moved, that they are placed back in a position of the same prominence that they were in. Um, I've had several people ask me, well, this is just about Confederate monuments and statues, and I say no. It has to do with Revolutionary War. Uh, statues and monuments it has to do. Uh, in fact, uh, one journalist was asking me the question. I said, well, what about the statue of Henry Grady in downtown Atlanta? There's nothing to keep the city of Atlanta from moving that that statue and placing it somewhere in some obscure place if they if the leaders of Atlanta decide they don't they don't like what Henry Grady stood for. So it's it's an attempt to make sure that history is preserved. And, and preserved in a in a, a manner that is uh, in, in a manner that's uh, that goes along with the historical aspect of what uh, those monuments and statues stand for. Okay. Any members have questions for Representative Benton? Uh, turn your microphone on there, Representative. Mr. Chairman, before he asks the question, I do have uh, one change that I would like to make to the bill. Okay. Uh, and it uh, is found, it would be found on uh, first page, line, line 22. Okay. Uh, there was some concern about uh, flags and banners uh, and those types of things. And so I think that uh, after, on, on line t page 1, uh, line 22, the, after the word thereof, that we would insert and construct it and intended to be of a permanent and perpetual nature. So we're looking at those things that are intended to be of a permanent nature, that they remain that way. So, and constructed and intended to be of a permanent and perpetual nature. Okay. Anything else? No, sir. That's it right now. All right. You ready for some questions? Yes, sir. Are you ready for Representative Chokas? Um, can I have a few minutes to get warmed up? <laughs> no, here it comes. All right. <laughs> there. Chairman Benton, um, thank you for bringing this legislation to our committee. Um, the question that I have of, of uh, is dealing with in in the in the title uh, obstruction of Stone Mountain. That's already in current in law. In code, okay. Yes, sir. Is uh, would anything in this um, code section uh, w w would be a in violation of any type of regulation or law that deals with cemeteries uh, and how is this I'm concerned we've got in America's Georgia Oak Grove Cemetery mm -hmm. and there's quite a few monuments 
in the cemetery. Uh, and after the tornado of six years ago, many of them were damaged uh, because of the high winds and falling trees and so forth. And um, they, were, they were repaired and put back in place. And uh, I was wondering if, if anything in this legislation, to your knowledge, would prevent that from happening in, in case of a, a, a natural disaster or something like that? No, sir. Okay. Thank you. Long question, short answer. It works for me. <laughs> Anyone else? Representative Buckner? Well, that's, that's left up to the community. We're not saying that they can't move them. Let's say the road needs to be widened, uh, uh, something of that nature. We're not saying that, that it can't be widened. We just don't want them to take this opportunity as, as uh, to remove it and, and not put it back in a, in a, a similar place of prominence. Uh, we're, we're certainly not telling any government agency that they can't move these things. We're just saying if you move it, then you've got to find a good place to put it back. Representative Hill, did you have a – grab – hand that microphone over to Representative, please. Well, we have um, um, we have several colleges and uh, and universities that that ha do have these types of monuments on their grounds, and we did not want them to just take this opportunity to uh, because they maybe the the president or the board of regents decides they don't agree with with what uh, uh, what that particular person stood for. Uh, that they take this opportunity to move uh, that statue or that marker uh, that uh, that tells of a historical uh, thing that happened on that spot, uh, and, and we want to make sure that we wanted to make sure that we got all government entities involved in this thing. We didn't want anyone to be left out. Excellent. Well, looks like you did a good job. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. After you ask a question, turn your microphone off, by the way. I, I think you all are doing that, but we, we need to make sure that we do, because if we get too many microphones on at once, it won't be pleasant. Representative Green. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman Benton, one of the problems that we're having in southwest Georgia, and I assume that may be happening throughout Georgia, is that when we have... Um, roads that are state roads that are being paved the markers that we have on the side are removed and we've lost them I mean they can't find them again how does your legislation address who's going to be responsible for putting those because those are very expensive uh, markers to replace well it, it says here in the uh, section one under um, a, a, parent, a in parentheses, it says agency means any state or local government entity, so if whichever entity removes them would have to, would have to place them back. And usually that's not, that's usually the construction company. Well, it would still be the entity that, that, that hired the construction company. They're, they're ultimately responsible for that. 
so it would you're, go. You're it, talking about the historical model. model. Yes, I am talking about the historical because we have lost four uh, on Highway 27 that we cannot and. The company, the construction company, says we have no knowledge of them. DOT says, that, yes, they do. They they removed them, and so it's a big fight now. But we have no one that's taken the the responsibility. And I'm absolutely glad to see you bring this piece of legislation here, because we do need some protections throughout this. And this is one of the things that has bothered me greatly. And I'm glad to see you bringing that. Thanks, sir. Any other representatives have a question for Chairman Benton? Our committee rules say that no action shall be taken on a bill or resolution at its first presentation to the committee. Um, Our committee rules say that the chairperson may present to the committee a proposed change in these rules at any time. <laughs> Ms. Long, we, uh, we're, we're looking at the possibility of, of a small amendment to this. Oh, okay. Do we need to, to line 22? After thereof, adding and constructed. Oh, I think Chairman Benton has language for you. That's even better, absolutely. Chairman, I think that would help greatly. Some of the problems that we have and really put the uh, back on the the construction company. Um, and I'm not, I'm not so sure it would, wouldn't. Uh, uh, it's, it would be such a paperwork, uh, but it should be something that we should require them because these are very expensive uh, monuments, <coughs> markers that we're talking about. Question that I have is is what about the cost? Should should the the cost of, of I mean what happens if the construction company legitimately loses the marker? Then shouldn't they be responsible? They should be responsible. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. Put some responsibility on them so they would be more likely mm -hmm. to maintain identify it and maintain it. Mm -hmm. the entire project and then return it to the mm -hmm. Because of What about the case, Mr. Chair, um, where you have multiple company times or subcontractors, mm -hmm. subcontractors on any given Pointing project. fingers. Exactly. No, we didn't tell you that. He took it up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The original contractor, I think, you would have to put the responsibility on him for hiring mm -hmm. the subcontractors. Yeah, I think we should be part of the original. It's one buck. 
Because mm -hmm. the original contractor can hold back payment on the subs. There is nothing in, in the bill that deals with damage or, mm -hmm. or loss, so I guess it would have to be a, a new paragraph. Uh, um, maybe added um, after 44, and you just change your uh, your numbers from there down. Okay. Terry, are you, t are you taking notes, Miss Long? Uh, yes, Mr. Terry. Okay. I, I'm, I'm working on the, the, the language for that. Okay. okay. Here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk. We're going to talk about our ideas, what we want to see done. And we'll give Miss Long an opportunity to to get that drafted, and then next week we'll we'll come in with uh, a committee substitute, okay. um, and um, make sure that we we have all the ideas. So let's talk about more ideas of of what we would like to see in that committee substitute. Well, Representative Buckner. When, when we look at line 17, Miss Long, on the definition of monument, monument means a monument, plaque, statue, marker. Does that, that should encompass those, shouldn't it? Needs to walk back. Okay. Any, anyone else? Any other thoughts or, or ideas that we want to make sure that, that gets incorporated? Mr. Chair, I have a uh, question that Let's, uh, hand that mic hand that microphone over to her so we can make sure that Good morning. Good morning. Related to this subject, I don't know if we're finished, I did have a question um, for the presenter in general. Are you aware of any statue markers, monuments that are of any controversy? You know, we have a very uh, troubled historical past in our state, um, much like the big flag debate that they had several years ago. Once this goes into place, I think that it would limit anything that, uh, the removal of anything that may be um, culturally or historically have issues. So are you aware of any such monuments in our state? that um, there may be communities that are very uncomfortable with um, the meaning, the behind, the history of those monuments. At this time, no. At this time, no. Um, but at, at the same time, you, you have to remember that a lot of these markers were placed uh, at a different time in our history and commemorate a portion of our history that, that now if markers are put up, we, you wouldn't want that done 50 years or 60 years from now to take away from what might what might be put up on behalf of, of some other group. Um, I had a I mentioned this a while ago about the removal of uh, Henry Grady's statue in downtown Atlanta. Uh, there's nothing to stop right now the city of Atlanta from moving that, and 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 so it's I think it. If we start, a, if it starts occurring, then we then we lose that part of our history that has that has made us great, because we we do want to remember the history. We want to remember it correctly, and so uh, right now I don't know of any statues or monuments that are being moved at this time. No. Anyone else? Other questions, comments, thoughts? Let me let me make sure I understand what I believe the will of the committee to be, and and we'll work on putting this together 
uh, for a um, a meeting next week. And actually, what I here here's what I'll do too. I'll, I'm going to appoint a subcommittee to look at it prior to our meeting next week to make sure that we've got what we think we're looking for. Um, and uh, Representative Green, if you would uh, uh, chair that, uh, uh, Representative Buckner and Representative Donahue. Um, and um, uh, at some point, it doesn't even have to be a, a meeting, at some point, the three of you and Chairman Benton look over to make sure that, that you're comfortable that we've gotten what we believe the will of the committee to be prior to us coming into the, to the meeting next Wednesday. Um, if y'all would like to have a, a meeting, that would be that would be perfectly fine. But the uh, main thing is we want to make sure you look over it. Mr. Chairman, um, is, is your committee meeting at 3? 3, every, 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Every Wednesday, okay. Standing committee, 3 o'clock here on, on Wednesdays. Um, line 22, you have the language, I think, Ms. Long, that he gave you on line 22. Yes. And uh, we want to, to also make sure that if, if any um, monument, as defined in the bill, is, is moved during a construction or widening, any, whatever that process may be, if it is removed, it is replaced. Uh, if it is damaged or lost, it is replaced by the, um, by the officer, uh, which could be uh, uh, as defined. Uh, a body employer contractor uh, that is defined so you know exactly what we're looking for all right all right any other questions or comments i've got a question how do we determine the value if it's something of of, of historical note and uh you know something that's quite old wow I think you'd have to look at it as as replacement co uh, replacement cost on that. Yeah. In other words, you've got a picture, you've got a a stone, a marble monument that was put up in 1915, that at that time maybe cost three thousand dollars, and it's damaged beyond repair, and they had to replace it. Well, to replace that same monument, it would be probably a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So I, I think that you would have to put in there a replacement cost on that. Because we can't go around the state no. valuing yeah. uh, all the markers and markers and markers and so forth. Any, any other questions, comments, thoughts? Representative Green, if, I'd, I'd like for you, if you could, to... to <laughs> have a meeting first of the week if possible um, if, if not circle up I'd like for you to have a meeting if possible first of the week Saturday per diem. Saturday okay <laughs> it's not the first of the week but uh, oh, well, you want Sunday then. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Mr. Chairman will take this up uh, next Wednesday thank you very much meeting adjourned Go to DMT.